Samsung's big launch for the Galaxy Fold is facing potential disaster because several technology reviewers saw their screens break and glitch out just a few days after getting the phone. So what exactly is going on here? Well, it looks like there could be several different issues. First of all, the Fold, it's a big deal for Samsung. You have this splashy new gadget, it's been talked about for years, and it's one of the first foldable screen smartphones. So even with its hefty price tag of two grand, Samsung sold out of the first batch of pre-orders and the phone is expected to hit stores April 26th. That's next week. But a few phone models always go out early, like review units for tech journalists. And four different reviewers saw screen failure after just two days. The reporter at CNBC, he said half of his screen just started flickering on him and he had no idea why. Over at The Verge, they saw this weird bulge appear on the crease of the screen, like there's some kind of debris stuck inside or maybe part of the hinge itself got stuck and is poking up into the display. And then there's this whole other issue going on. It's happening with this sticky protective layer on the main screen. The reporter at Bloomberg peeled away a layer of film and it rendered the whole screen completely broken. And YouTuber Marcus Brownlee, he also shared a similar issue on Twitter. He said he started to try to take off the film and the display spazzed and just blacked out. So yeah, this is not a screen protector. This is part of the display and it's not meant to be removed. So why did two phone experts try to peel it back? Well, they each said there was no warning that it was a vital component to the display functioning. So they could have just thought at first it was a screen guard. And it's not clear how easy or hard it was to pull it off or how bonded it was to the screen, but a plastic layer is still not something you see all the time on other phones. And that's because this is not like other phones. It is completely different screen technology. The inside screen is made of plastic to withstand bending and flexing. So a glass screen may not need the layer, but clearly this polymer screen needs it to function. Now, overall, this is a more complicated phone. You have more moving parts, and that means more ways for things to go wrong. There's a hinge where things can get stuck or break. Each side of the phone has its own battery, so that means twice the battery that could fail. And then there's the whole inside bendy screen, and who knows how that's gonna hold up over time. Now, here at CNET, we did not experience any of these problems. Our reviewer, Jessica Dolcourt, said she emailed Samsung to ask about that odd protective layer, and Samsung told her to not remove it, so we didn't. Uh, Samsung has taken back the problem phones from the other reviewers and is going to investigate what's going on. But in the meantime, the company released a statement saying that the protective layer is part of the display structure. And the company is going to make sure that when it ships to consumers, there's going to be some sort of clear indication to not remove it. Uh, a director at T-Mobile, he tweeted out this image. He said that final production models are going to have a warning on a wrap that goes over the screen that says don't peel it off or use any other screen protector on it. So obviously without the film being pulled off, there were two reviewers who still had issues. So are consumers gonna have to worry about glitchy screens? And it's hard to say for sure, but these review units are early production models. So they could be different from the ones that wind up in consumers' hands. Now, if you did order one, should you get a refund? Well, maybe you want to wait and see at this point. After all, Samsung does not want another note battery disaster on its hands. So the company would be smart to give refunds if there is any glitch. Although I would not jump to get one right now if you haven't done so already. We're watching this closely, so stay tuned to CNET for further developments.